guys and welcome to my channel and to this video today we will be painting another seascape this time with a moon and a dolphin and I think this one will be quite simple and easy and we will have a lots of fun also I will show you to how to paint step by step a reflection of the moon in the sea so for today I will be using this Centenaire watercolor paper. It is 100% cotton and cold press watercolor paper and also 300 GSM or 140 pounds, 18 by 24, 26 centimeters or 7 by 10 and 1 quarter of an inch. It is a paper that I get from some of the local stores, so I'm not sure if it's available worldwide, but you know I usually do use a Clairefontaine watercolor paper, so that one will also be fine but any watercolor paper you have will do here I am using paper from a block so I will not be stretching the paper no need to stretch but if you're using a single sheet you should stretch your paper because we will be using quite amount of water and also painting from one uh, edge to another so definitely something you should consider is uh, stretching your paper and I will put the link down if you don't know how to stretch your paper I will put the link down in the description box for my video where I talk a little bit more about that and for the watercolors I will be using sepia and uh, from white nights and also this uh, blue from my watercolor set this one is somewhat like an ultramarine so I will mix those two colors in somewhat different ratio so I will get some different uh, hues and if you don't feel like that if you don't feel like mixing your colors you can definitely use here indigo but I do prefer mixing my colors because you can get beautiful splits from the colors and can see really and actually even that sepia ultramarine and also them uh, mixed together I will be using just slight amount of green for a light wash light glaze over my sea also i will be using some white gouache to paint in the moon and also some splatters around my dolphin and for the brushes i will be using this a larger round brush this is a uh, number 12 this a little bit smaller number eight and this uh, even smaller number four brush and also for some splattering I will use this is a brush with a quite stiff bristle so that is the brush I'm gonna use to splatter and of course if you don't have that you can use a toothbrush or just any round brush you have and I think that is it from the supplies we're gonna use so without further ado let's get started so I'm starting off with drawing my horizon line and I will place the horizon line just a little bit above the middle part of my page and then on top just add a circle for the moon and I did make my moon just half uh, of the size that is from the horizon line up to the top so that is approximately how large the moon is and something you may consider when painting and then uh, I've mixed in a little bit of, that's my blue uh, for my set of colors and it, it is something like an ultramarine blue and added sepia to that to make that, as you could have seen, a very, very dark blue color and it has a little bit more blue in it than sepia, but it is a quite darker color. And then I've painted in the upper part where the sky is, leaving the part where the moon and around the moon a little bit lighter and on the sides and on the top a little bit darker. Now I am mixing another color from the same colors from that dark blue ultramarine and sepia but this time a little bit more brownish with a little bit more sepia in it and with just a dr almost a dry brush and very little water in my paint I'm starting to do the dry brushing technique and just adding the lines to my C and later on when we add a little bit more of the watercolor a little bit uh, less dry paint if I could say that and with a little bit more water that part will look like a reflection of the moon because it will have 
this beautiful uh, texture from the dry brushing but in the middle part and on the sides we will be painting a dark sea so again just using the same thing layering adding one layer on top of the other and painting in the sea as i said just adding those adding those lines and again i'm not using a lot of water uh, even this time at this point i'm using quite a little amount of water but just adding one layer on top of the other to make it look like a reflection of the moon right now i'm adding another layer to my moon to my sky and this time i've used a little bit more of the sepia in my mix just to make those colors approximately a little bit more similar because these colors were too different for me and the sky was too bright so i did wanted to add a little bit more of the sepia in that upper part just to make them slightly more similar now i've mixed in this turquoise color added a little bit of the green into my ultramarine to mix that color and just as you can see in the middle part adding a very very light wash of that turquoise color just to make it look as though there is the sea there is some play with of the shadows and highlights on even that part of the sea so just when you do that be careful to start from the center going outwards on the sides uh, edges of the paper and not start in a darker part because that is how you will mix you will move your colors and just smudge it all just start from the central part going outwards now uh, just picking up some white gouache and painting in the moon and for the moon again i did not prevent the paper and as uh, now while that is still wet it is very visible but you know white gouache as it dries it becomes a little bit uh, more transparent so that's something you will see later on we will be adding a uh, multiple layers to our moon so you don't have to do it perfectly in the first layer just layer your colors one on top of the other and as you can see i'm not painting the entire surface of the moon i did paint the entire surface i wasn't trying to make it exactly the same color somewhere it became a little bit more white somewhere a little bit less and then on top with this smaller brush and a little bit less water in my paint i'm adding in some more white gouache and just smudging it using my brush and smudging it all over and while that dries i will be drawing my a dolphin and that's a very very simple sketch i will put the sketch for download so you will be able to download the sketch of a dolphin but i do believe that's quite easy to do so i just did uh, drew the line where the c is going to be and then one side is slightly curved uh, like a c curve and downwards has again the curve on the other side and lower part is almost a straight with again slight like slider curve uh, in a lower part then doing his nose and his uh, feathers <laughs> not feathers I I'm not sure how that is called but you know what I mean and when I finished with my sketch I did add a little bit of the on the back side I did scribble but as you will see later on I could not trace it while I was tracing it was just not visible on the paper so while that uh, I left that aside for a bit and now added a little bit more of the uh, white gouache to my moon because as I said it was drying and it was not visible anymore so I did add it a little bit more of that white gouache now I'm tracing it to my paper as you can see not visible at all so I decided to uh, cut that dolphin up and just go around it and that is how actually at the end I've uh, draw it onto my paper draw that sketch onto my paper and now it was uh, visible so again mix that dark dark blue color mix of ultramarine and sepia and painting in the dolphin first part uh, the belly of the dolphin is going to be quite dark with that dark dark color and the upper part i will paint a little bit lighter because there is the reflection from the moon so i did use a little bit less paint pick up a little bit of the paint 
with my brush and as you can see that part is lighter i will be again adding a little bit of the white gouache on top now a new layer to the moon and as you can see i am just layering one layer on top of the other until i will be satisfied with the moon when it dries until i'm satisfied with how it looks dry right now picking up again some of the white gouache and adding it on top of my dolphin on the upper part of the dolphin to make it look as though the moon is reflecting on his body some of the splatters i will be adding some splatters and some top ins with the tip of my brush i've tapped in uh, some splatters of the sea and smudged it slightly with my fingers and again a little bit more of the details on the upper part again when what gouache dries it becomes lighter so i did add one more stripe as a reflection and then splattered uh, some sprinkles with, with this very very stiff brush it has a very stiff bristles for some smaller sprinkles some uh, smaller splatters from the sea and with that i'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video you can maybe add a little bit more of the stars if you want in the in the sky i did not want to do that it was just fine as it was and i hope you like this video if you do please hit the like button share it comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me and again guys thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye